Hello, good evening, everyone. Hope you Hello. can hear me clearly. Yes. So this Zoom call is called The Future on Earth. And, um, and uh, so we are talking about what we really think, what is the future on Earth? And uh, we hear a lot of predictions, like what will happen in two years or five years or 10 years or 50 years. There are a lot of scientists who are talking about the future of Earth, that we are running out of a um, lot of things and the temperature is going up and really the, the environment is changing and the Earth is changing together and we don't have too much time and all the things that we can hear. So on one side, there is so many things that we can hear from so many uh, sources. And on the other side, we really have to ask the question, what is the future that we would like to create? And um, is there such thing like co-creating the future? And if there is such thing, then is there something like co-creating with Earth? And uh, can we really tap into the energy of Earth and asking Earth what it desires? And it's really important to see what are the changes that are going on at the moment on Earth. And it's really not about changing Earth or changing what Earth really desires, but be part of it. And also not just be part of it, but there are so many other things. Because it's not just about the environment, but life on Earth has so many elements. And when I say life on Earth, one part of that, do we live, is that an environment that we are happy to live in? Is that joyful to live on Earth? And when I ask, is that joyful to live on Earth? I'm not really, I'm not just talking about that if you are living next to a forest or next to a park or you are on on a beach and is that is and if that is beautiful enough or the environment is clear enough but there are so many things that we could change and make it generative so we could create a change and it's not just together creating a change but one by one each of us could create a change but are we really um, believing that, that we can do that? Or is it something that is possible? Or is that something that um, we desire at all? Or is that something that uh, we believe that we are allowed to do? Um, like one part of it. Um, what is the future of these industries that are actually on Earth today? It can be the electricity industry, like the utilities, um, the petrol. What do we have? What do we use? How, how for coal? How we generate power? What's the power that we use? How we use that? Is that really the easiest way to, to generate power? Or is that the most economic way? Or is that the most intelligent way how we do it? Um, what is holding us back from creating a different reality? The way we earn money or create money and what um, financial or monetary reality we have on Earth, is that really what, what we would like to support in the future? And in which ways we think that this is the only reality that can exist and this is the reality that we keep creating. Um, is that really what we would like to keep creating? Or is there any fear that we have and is there anything that is holding us back from creating something greater? And it's really, I would like to have it as an open discussion. And if there is anything around you in your environment that you see you would like to change, then 
why why don't we just change it right now and what is holding us back if, if there is some industrial site next to you and if there is something that you don't like as it goes why don't we change it why don't we ask the question like what would be more generative for all of us what what would create more for all of us and for the future so what is the future that we would like to create and we can start step by step and change our lives change and and desire and ask for a different reality if, if we don't like if we don't like um our environment even the factories around you or um or about the oceans or the rivers or the lakes around you, how polluted they are, or what happens with animals, like are they tortured or not, or are they poisoned or not, or what, what do we use really in our environment at home? Are we demanding different cleaning products or not? Are we willing to look into the physical reality of our bodies, like do we have to eat that much or not? Do we have to listen to someone else who tells us what's right about our body? What's right about pollution? What's right about our environment? Or are we asking the question what, what we really desire and what, what else is possible? What would be generative if something is not generative around us? So I would like to invite all of you to be the change wherever you are. And as the question, what, what am I aware of that is um, a generative um, possibility that is there, that I sense that is there and I can, I can choose that and I can create it. And I'm an infinite being to do that and be that, everything that is required. So anything that doesn't allow us to create the change and be the change, that we desire in the future, that we desire right now. We destroy and uncreate all of that. Right, wrong, good and bad, for them for all nine short boys and beyond. So do we have any questions or is there anyone who's aware of any environment that should be changed or the desire to change in that environment? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, as you know, I live in a very big city with a lot of pollution. And it's not so easy for me to, to have a connection or, or even a communion with the earth in this environment. And I see that when I am in the countryside, in a small village just outside from Paris, Oh, then it's amazing to see the trees, to breathe very easily and to, to walk on the grass. And I'm, I, don't, I don't have the impression that I can change my environment, but maybe I can change the way I try to, to feel the connection with the earth, even if in I... I mean, the streets and barriers with a lot of cars, a lot of noise, a lot of pollution. Mm. Okay. So I, I, I think I have to, to, to clear and to go beyond the limitation I have that um, nature is not in the city. Maybe the horse is here also. I am the horse. I think I have something not clear about that. I make a very uh, a separation, yes. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> right. So, so how much of that, what you feel and sense and be aware of when you are in the city is not even about the earth? So how much of that belongs to the people in the city and, what, and you pick up what they feel and sense about the city or what, what they feel? What is their judgment? Anything of that, everything that is not 
yours and everything that belongs to someone else will you destroy and uncreate and return it to the sender. Yes. Right, wrong, good and bad, for them for online short words and beyond. So how much of that, you know, th there is a huge judgment and a and lot of points of views about that. You really have to leave, not in the city, but somewhere else, in nearby forest or river or park somewhere in a green area and because that's that's joyful and that's perfect and beautiful and, and the concrete city is just terrible. And what if we just see what contribution a city can be? And it's not just the city, but the city as a living being, what contribution it can be to the hundreds of thousands and millions of people living there? even the concrete buildings, what contribution they can be. So are we willing to really look into that and receive that massive contribution that is coming from these buildings and from and from the earth at that place? So anything that doesn't allow that we destroy and uncreate all of that. Yes. Right, wrong, good and bad, for them for all nine short boys and beyond. And what if there is a different reality that we can choose, even if we live in a city? So what if um, we can ask our flat for the apartment house or that apartment block? We can ask the trees on the streets or does the grass, if there is any, <laughs> and the birds or the pigeons, Yes. <laughs> for contribution, and if we can be the contribution to them. And what if there is a different reality with the cars and the smoke they create, and the different reality with air that we could ask the environment and the wind to clean the air, to keep it clean for us. And anything that doesn't allow us to work together with the environment and create the change in the environment, will we just destroy and uncreate all of that? Yes. Right, wrong, good and bad, for them for all natural words and beyond. So anything that everywhere where we separate ourselves from the environment and from other people, and where we believe that we are physical beings, but concrete is not physical and it's not natural and it's, it's really nothing concrete can give us or it cannot be a contribution. And all the times when we can't see the molecular structure of concrete and we create separation between two physical things, like your body is a living being, but concrete is something that is just a dead material, so it cannot be. There is no way it could be a contribution. So anything that it brings up, we destroy and uncreate all of that. Right, wrong, good and bad, for them, for all nine short words and beyond. So, so where is the end of our bodies and where does something else like a building, a wall, another um, physical element, where, where does it start? Because you see, it is solid, and air is not solid, and then your body is solid again, sort of solid. And, but 99% of everything is air, is nothing, it's space in the molecule. So what is, what if really at one level there is no difference and there is no separation? And it's just a point of view to create a separation and and by creating a separation, how many times we just cut off our awareness of what else is possible. So what if the first step is just being grateful for what we have around us, just as is, and use it as a starting point from where we start to create a difference. So what contribution we can be to, to the material that is around us, that is at the end created from the elements of earth. And anything that doesn't allow us to see 
that we have and be and know that we have the capacity to change physical materials around us. We would just destroy and uncreate all of that. Right, wrong, good and bad, for them, for all nine shorts, boys and beyond. And right. So, so what is the future that only you know what you can create? You sense somewhere you, you your infinite being is fully aware of a different reality. And you are right when you say it it suffer what we created up to now. But just because what's created up to now and any places where it's not generative and joyful, so how much of that is our creation and we co-create that? And anything that doesn't allow us to change it with total is will we just destroy and uncreate all of that? Right, wrong, good and bad, for them for online short boys and beyond. So all the lifetimes and in all dimensions when where we were or where you were part of the creators, a member of the creators who created this reality. And all the ways that you judge yourself for doing that. And you decided that you have to lock away your powers and your capacities to further change the reality or turn it around. And anything that it brings up, will you destroy and uncreate all of that? Right, wrong, good and bad for them for online short boys and beyond. So what is the future that you are aware of? You know that it's possible to be created. And what if that is different from what I can see or what scientists can see? But just by being different doesn't mean it's not possible or it's not available. It doesn't mean anything. It only means one thing. It is different. So what if using the difference that you are, the phenomenon of you, what if that is the easiest thing on earth? What if that is your amazing skill and capacity that only you have and you were only always aware of that? That is possible. So what can we all do as being us? And um, what would it take to create the change that we all desire to see as our future? So what is the future that we, we desire to create? And what is the future that we are aware of that is possible to be created? And what is the future that wants to be created that would be generative for us and the future generations? And what can we do now? And what it is that is holding us back from being and doing it? And anything that doesn't allow us to be and do what, what it would take to create it, will we just destroy and uncreate all of that? Right, wrong, good and bad, for them for all nine short boys and beyond. So what else is possible beyond this reality? So what else is possible um, about biodiversity, about the, the beings, the animals on Earth, the animals and the plants on Earth and the insects on Earth? Yes, we heard that many times that every year hundreds or thousands of species are dying and just disappear from Earth. What if there is something else possible? What if we can create something total different? And how much of that is the judgment that these are just disappearing and we are losing something because they disappear? What if something else is available and 
is just in the womb of Mother Earth for evolution, or we can call it anything, and it's just waiting to step in into our reality. What if that new life form that started to shape and form in the last few decades is just waiting to find a structure to be shown? And what if that new life form is already here? We are just blind to see that. What if there is something else that in the past we call it insects and animals and plants, but there is something totally different and we will have a name for that and it's already here. But by judging and saying that it's not here and we are blind to it, we just can't receive the contribution of that. And we create something where we say and we judge that, oh, it's not here. We don't have it. We have less plants, we have less bees, we have less animals and and the and it's just terrible, and we're just losing Earth, and we're just losing the biodiversity. And at the same time, there is a new species, a new life form appearing on Earth. And maybe what if it has a totally different physical reality that we can't believe, but it's already here? What would it take to tap into the energy of this new life form that is already here? And what would it take to create it and make it for all of us available and receive the contribution that it is for all of us and for Earth and for our life? What if it's already here and it's creating a change that we cannot see because we judge, because of our point of view about it and because of our separation and expectation about how it should look like, what it should be like? Anything that it brings up, anything that doesn't allow us to see, be, no perceive and receive all of it, or tap into the energy, or go beyond our expectation and our separation. Everything of that will destroy and uncreate all of that for all eternity. Right, wrong, good and bad, for them folk, all nine short boys and beyonds. So what is the different reality that we all can create with this new life form? So what it is that they can show us? That they already started to tell us, but we are deaf, we are blind, and we are just not willing to see this different reality. What if there is a different reality and a different dimension? And what if that is already in this dimension and there is no such thing and we just create an amazingly huge separation saying that, oh, there is different dimension, but we are not there. And anything that it brings up and all the way we try to make it logical and try to pick up with our cognitive mind and everything that it brings up, we just destroy and uncreate all of that. Right, wrong, good and bad, for them folk, all nine short boys and beyond. So what is the future that we can create and what is this life form talking about and what is a different reality this life form is bringing to us and what other awareness is out there already and waiting for us to pick it up to tap into it and start to work with it and create more and more and more what generative future can this life form life form create so what is the generative future that is already here? And we are just not seeing it. So all the ways that we made ourselves blind and deaf to this, this reality that is already here, and all the ways that we stand against it because it's not part of what we have seen in the past, or it's totally different, or no one told you before, or you or it was not taught in any biology classes or lessons, or no one told you that it's coming, so it's not expected. And anything that it brings up, we destroy and uncreate all of that. Right, wrong, good and bad, for them folk, all nine short boys and beyond. So what are the senses that you have that are already picking up this different reality? 
and this different life form that is already here and waiting for us to start the communication and work with them. What it is that is already here and we just deny it and re reject it. And anything that it brings up, we destroy and uncreate all of that. Right, wrong, good and bad, for them, for all my choice, for them, beyond. Do we have any questions? Uh, yesterday, I saw um, a question from Dane, I think. It's, if I allowed the horse to speak to me, what would it say? And I, I, I received the awareness at that moment that maybe I, um, I have to, in the future, to speak uh, the voice of the horse. And I'm listening to you, and now maybe I have, because I have uh, the potency of uh, the capacity of channeling, so to, sp to speak for someone else, mm -hmm. invis invisible or visible. And um, it's very hard for the moment when, when I was listening to you to, to examine the possibilities that another life form is already present and we are not seeing or. Um, interacting with it and maybe i have something to explore about that so i'm i'm very confused at the moment mm -hmm. <laughs> so so when we say something is present what is our uh, expectation and judgment and point of view how how it should look like when something is present so what was you know we had uh, we get used to it if, if, if something present, it shows up like this, mm -hmm. or like that, or like something else. Yes. And yeah. I'm so surprised every day, and I am not, I am, I'm sti still not used to accept that ch things are changing at every moment, and everything, something happened, I think that, oh, okay, it's that, I want to fix it, and you know that, the next time it will be the same. I create, um, but it's not point of view, it's, uh, I don't know the name, references. Uh-huh, the reference and, to the past. And every moment my, my reference from the past is over because it doesn't work anymore. So I, I it's, I think I am, I am afraid, but, I try each time to figure out in my in my brain what is it, what, what the way I have to do. And mm -hmm. so, what is it? So, so we, we create our reality through our points of view, and we create our future based on reference points because. That's what we call safe or comfortable because we always have to compare what we had yesterday and what we have today and it, it really okay and if something is a little bit different then you realize it it's different because you have a reference point what it was before i remember that and now it is different from what it was before do i like it what i see now that is different or if I'm more comfortable with what I had before, so I'd rather go back to the more comfortable and, and rather not creating this different reality of what is there and possible. So how many times do we that, or how many lifetimes, oh, millions of lifetimes we are creating our reality through these reference points? And everything that it brings up so you destroy and uncreate all of that, right from good and bad, for them for online show boys and beyond. And all the ways that we decided this is the way to create a difference 
and we have to see the difference between past and present or the previous creation and, and this creation and all the all the ways that we create this linearity with time and we see it significant because other ways we wouldn't see the difference between two things and anything and everything that it brings up will we just destroy and uncreate all of that right wrong good and bad for them for all night short boys and beyond So anything that it brings up that um, the difference that is created has to be like something and and I know when something is different because I have a point of view and I have a, an experience and I always match the actual experience to the previous experience for there is a visual thing where you can hear something and it, it now it sounds differently or it seems different and anything that it brings up and all our expectations towards a different creation how it should show up and how it should manifest and what is the way to get it manifested and how long it takes and what's the purpose of time and how we bring time into this whole thing or how we create time as is and anything that it brings up will be just destroy and uncreate and eliminate and eradicate for all eternity. Right, wrong, good and bad, for and for all nine short boys and beyond. So what if what if it is already in front of our eyes? The different reality. But we are just afraid of walking that path. What if that is the same as believing or being afraid of stepping out of our comfort zone? And just because of that, we don't want to see what else is already there. What else is waiting for us to finally um, explore it or discover it? But if you look into the past and it was not part of your past experience, but you expect it to be like something from your past or similar to it, however, it is totally different and all the metering devices or all the things that you would use to measure and meter that new thing, that new reality, that new life form, those devices are not capable of picking it up to showing you the difference. It's something that you are aware of, but these devices cannot prove it. So for how long are we waiting for the devices to prove it? And what would it take to finally recognize the existence of this new form, this new life form on Earth? And anything that it brings up, it will destroy and uncreate for all eternity. Right, wrong, good and bad, for them for all nine short boys and beyond. So all the ways that it sounds crazy and different and uncomfortable and, and scary, terribly scary, what the hell is this new life form? And all the ways that you, you decided, I don't want to see that. If I can't see it, it doesn't exist. If I can't hear it, it doesn't exist. It cannot exist because no one told me it exists. And anything and everything that it brings up, you just destroy and uncreate all of that. Right, wrong, good and bad, for them for online short boys and beyond. So what contribution Earth can be to us and what contribution this life form is already to us. As an infinite being, how can we separate ourselves from any type of life form? I mean, I, yeah, we do that. We separate ourselves from each other, but is that really the future that we want to create? Is that the future that we desire? 
or we are looking for oneness. Anything that it brings up, what we have created, and all the ways that we look into something to be created from what we created in the past, and we see our past as a reference point, as the basis to create our future, and anything that it brings up, and all the ways that we created our present and future based on our past reference point, and we failed, so therefore we decided it cannot work, it doesn't work, and I had enough of creating it, and I had enough of doing it, because it's not generative, or it is just this shit, and everyone creates this shit, and I just had enough of this shit, and I just had enough of creating, and I'm not going to create it. So everything that it brings up to you just destroy and uncreate for all eternity. Right, wrong, good and bad, for them both, all nine short right and beyond. So what is what are the different dimensions? And the idea of different dimensions is just one other possibility or one, one other creation to separate us and separate ourselves and create more separation and anything that it brings up really just destroy and uncreate all of that right from good and bad quote unquote all nine short boys and beyond so what life forms we can we, we already have on earth or what life forms are there on earth that can contribute to different realities on Earth. A different reality for Earth, for the beings on Earth, for the physical reality, to change the physical reality on Earth. To bring more joy, to contribute to the living Beings, all the beings on earth, no matter who they are and what they are, and what can we create together, and in which ways we can be part of this creation, and in which ways can we, can we be a contribution to generate this different reality. And all the ways that we see ourselves as small and tiny and incapable of and unable to do anything or be anything or be no person and receive this different reality. And all the ways that we deny and reject the possibility or we can't pick it up or can't even understand or can't even imagine this different reality, we really just destroy and uncreate all of that. Right, wrong, good and bad, for them for all my short words and beyond. The denial that we created in order to protect us from something that we think is scary, or someone told us is scary. Will you destroy and uncreate all of that? Right, wrong, good and bad, for them for all my short words and beyond. The denial that we use. Do not see denial we use to block our capacities, to block ourselves, to create separation, to not perceive and receive this different life form and this other possibility that is there. And everything of that will be just destroy and uncreate and eliminate and eradicate for all eternity. And beyond that, right from good and bad, for them for all nine short boys and beyond. And all the promises, oaths and vows and filthy community and blood oaths and secret promises that we did to ourselves or to others or to secret religions or sects or any group or anyone else or to our families or to our future, to the future generation. Will you revoke, recount, reclaim, denounce, and renounce all of that for all eternity? 
right, wrong, good and bad, for and for, all nine short boys and beyond. And um, anything and everything that we created in the past, any of us in any previous lifetimes when we created something, when we planted the seed of the end of the world, or when we planted and created something that we knew will lead to the end of life, and all the ways that we created destruction or started something destructive that is part of or that will lead to the end of the world, end of life, or end of earth, or end of humanity on earth. Are we going to, and will, are you ready to destroy and uncreate and eliminate and eradicate all of that? Right, wrong, good and bad, for them for all and sure it works and beyond. And one, two, three, 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 for all the creations that we did in the past to destroy Earth and destroy life on Earth. And all the ways that we align and agree to destroy life on Earth, that it is needed or it is necessary or it is something that should happen and is something that cannot be changed and all the ways that we solidified it and believe it, it will happen and we cannot do anything and we stop ourselves from uncreating it. And anything that it brings up, we destroy and uncreate and eliminate and eradicate for eternity. Right, wrong, yes. bad, for them, for all nine short boys and beyond. Yes? Do you have a question? I think I asked. Yes, I feel in, in the past. So I. <laughs> is it possible to clear the demands together? All right. So all the ways that we invited demons into this reality, into Earth, into this dimension or any other dimensions and from all dimensions and all realities that they are here to um, create unconsciousness or invite unconsciousness or anti-consciousness or lack of consciousness. Will we just destroy and uncreate and eliminate and eradicate all of that? Right, wrong, good and bad, for them, for all nine short boys and beyond. And all the portals that we created and opened up, and all the gates and dimensions, and everything else that we opened up, and all the ways that we created cracks on this reality so these uh, demons can keep coming in. So, are we all, yeah, will we just destroy and uncreate all of that for all eternity? Right, wrong, good and bad, for them, for all nine short boys and beyond. <sighs> and to step into the energy of all the demons that are still exist or be in this reality or has any impact to this reality. Now, <sighs> okay. go back to from whence you came, never return to me to us and this reality again. Go back to from whence you came, never return to us and this reality again. Go back to from whence you came, never return to us and this reality again. Go back to from whence you came, never return to us and this reality again. Go back to from whence you came, never return to us and this reality again. Go back to from whence you came, never return to us and this reality again. Go back to from whence you came, never return to us and this reality again. And close all the portals and all the cracks and time gates and dimensional gates and all the ways that we were inviting them or they were able to come into this reality right now. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. <sighs> Mm. 
Do we have a question? So is there anything in your environment or around you that you are aware of? There is something else. There is something generative that can be created. And there is something you can contribute to it to get it created. So what if you would just touch it, to tap into that and bring it into this reality right now? What would it take? Why should it take time? Why, why do we think it's not possible? So anywhere in your world, in your reality, where you are aware of that there is something greater available, something generative to all of us that creates more. That's like an outgoing spiral. It doesn't have to be spiral. It doesn't have to have any linearity. It doesn't have to have any polarity. It doesn't have to be better or worse. It's just something that creates more that is generative for all of us on Earth. It's generative for our future. So anywhere and everywhere that you are aware of these things that you, you can be part of creating and you are holding you back, really to destroy and uncreate all your points of view and all the decisions that you made in this or in a previous life and in any other, other dimensions, not create it or not bring it into this reality. Right, wrong, good and bad, good and bad, good and bad, good and bad. So all the ways that you are aware of a different reality that you can create. Um, so are you willing to be the contribution? And will you be the contribution to create and bring this generative reality into existence, into fruition right now. And anything that doesn't allow you to be no perceive and receive it beyond time and space, will you destroy and uncreate all eternity? Right, wrong, good and bad, potential, all natural, boys and beyond. You know, the one, two, three, four is to create a different future, to bring it in, into fruition that is more generative. So what it is that you are aware of, that you already know, and you can be a contribution, and you can tap into that different reality that is more generative to all of us. So just please do a one, two, three, four, and ask for that to be created and, and Brought into existence right now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Thank you. And there is just a question um, from Kanusha. Our land and animals and treasury is being sold off. How can we disrupt this? So all the lifetimes and all the ways that we gave away our capacities and we handed over the control over our life and be the creative and generative and infinite beings who we really are. Will we just destroy and uncreate all of that? Right from good and bad, for them for all natural choice and beyond. And all the promises, ocean, wealth, and fields, communities through which we gave it away to others. And all the ways that we allowed others to abuse the environment, and all the ways that we think we cannot do anything against it. Will you reclaim, recount, renounce, denounce, and uncreate and destroy all of that for all eternity? Right, wrong, good and bad, for them for all nine short boys and beyond. So all the ways that we were part of the, the abusive energies on earth and whatever abuse we created or in whichever ways we, um, we were the worst stewards 
of earth and the land and all our judgments to what we have done and all the ways that we judge ours that what they do so anything and everything that we have done in the past all the ways that we were not divided of earth and land and we created destruction and destroy the land or any life form will we destroy and uncreate all that for eternity right from good and bad for them for online short boys and beyond and all the computations about um, what is the future of earth and what um, and all the systems are created to produce a future on earth that is destructive, that creates linearity and polarity, that holds us and keeps us in and keeps our future in polarity and linearity. So um, to destroy and uncreate all of that and be the And disrupted the way of it. So there's the one, two, three, four, five. 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 Uh, right. So all the computations about the future and all the computative systems that are generating a destructive future will be just destroy and uncreate and disrupt all of this right now and for all eternity beyond time and space. Right, wrong, good and bad for them for online short boys and beyond. Yeah. So do what else do we have? So I would like to invite you to really look into it. What different reality can I perceive? What other life forms are already here on earth? And in which ways they can contribute to our future, to a generative future? And what is this that I don't want to look into, that I made myself blind to it? What is that that is already here? And all the things that I expect to be some show up some way and they don't show up that way. So what are my expectations about this different reality that doesn't allow me to look into and be in order to receive and receive that different reality. In which ways I can receive that different reality? In which ways I can contribute to expose this life form, to make it visible, to make it something available for all of us? So what is my part in this big picture? What can I be and do to contribute to spread the seed. The seed of a different reality and the seed of a different life form that is already here and is contributing to all of us. So what can we do together and what can we do just one by one? What can we do and what can I do at this very moment to create a different generative and joyful reality? And what contribution can I be to those who are willing to create a different reality? What contribution can we be to those who are not yet here but coming into this physical reality with a message of a different life form? and with a message of something greater that is on the way. And most of it is already here. 
and what is my expectation about how it should show up and what it should be and all my points of view about what is airy and everything that it brings up we destroy and also respect right from good and bad for them for small nine short boys and beyond and anyone in it yeah and what energy space and consciousness can we be to destroy and uncreate all the ways we try to hide or destroy and stop this different life form from showing up and being perceived and received by others and anything that it brings up where we just destroy and uncreate all of that right wrong good and bad for them for all nine short boys and beyond and i like to say thank you for being here and being part of this for today and i really would like to invite you and be the creator of the future on earth the future that is generative generative in million ways in ways that only you know so what is it that you can create? And what is your part in this? There is no such thing as small or great. There is no such thing as not significant or not enough or not important enough. And there is no such thing as less than expected. What is the reality that we all can create? what is the reality that you only know only you are aware of and what are the things that you are phenomenal in and your phenomenals can create it in million ways that no one else expected and who cares if they never expected even you never expected and what else can we bring into this reality that is generative for us in our future and the future generation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye uh, bye. Bye bye. See you soon. Bye. See you. Take care, everybody. Bye bye. Be the creative, infinite being that who you are. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.